it's, it's never easy and uh, a really hard uh, decision. But at the end of the day, um, I think it's best moving forward. We've got, I believe it's 36 games left. Uh, there's been, you know, a number of, uh, of reasons. Um, but I think, you know, the, the, the lack of just consistency, the lack of uh, production, the belief we have uh, ability-wise certainly on the mound. And, you know, we want to, you know, change the voice these last 36 games or so. And, and uh, you know, Larry's brought a lot to us, uh, a lot of experience, uh, a ton of knowledge. I believe he was the right guy at the right time. We've won a lot of games. Uh, with Larry as the pitching coach, uh, but moving forward, we've been in a situation uh, where you know we've we've certainly had some injuries. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but we've had uh, just some some inconsistency on the mound, and I just think at the end of the day, we haven't um, uh, reached our, our level of production consistently on the mound. And with 36 games to go. Uh, we want to try to give a different message, uh, a different voice, and and ultimately, uh, Ben Fritz will 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 take over the duties down the final stretch here. No, I think it just really comes down to just the the, the lack of consistency right now, and um, you know, certainly over the last couple of weeks, yes, um, but we we haven't reached our our level of production. Um, of what we're capable of doing. And instead of uh, waiting and seeing what's going to happen and staying stagnant, I thought the best thing to do uh, for this team moving forward is to to bring in uh, a different voice, a different message, a different perspective right now. This was 100% uh, my decision. That's correct. And uh, I've had uh, discussions over the last couple of weeks uh, with AJ. Um, We've gone, um, you know, back and forth, uh, have, having discussion. Um, and I believe it was, you know, maybe 10, 12 days ago uh, where, where we had brought it up. And uh, obviously it's a hard decision. It's, it's an incredibly tough decision. We wanted to, uh, to give it a week, 10 days uh, to see if things would, would turn around. Um, and then ultimately last night, uh, AJ and I spoke um, Obviously, a big decision like this, uh, you never want to be um, reactive. Uh, you want to you want to talk it through. I've talked with AJ. I've talked to the uh, the group upstairs and the baseball operations. Um, I've heard uh, opinions, and ultimately, a hundred percent, it was my decision. I think being able to add uh, Ben Fritz here the, these final thirty six games, and I do mean that with you know just a little bit of a new voice, a, a new message, a, a new tone. Uh, Fritzy uh, knows these guys, has been around these guys, he's been with the organization on on several different roles. Uh, he's been a coordinator, he's been a pitching coach, he's been a rehab coordinator, and he's been in the major leagues uh, the, these past two years. And I believe he's done a great job uh, with our bullpen. I think he is uh, uh, one of the reasons our bullpen has performed uh, very well this year. Uh, and so being able with his experience, um, knowing the system, knowing the guys and be able to, to provide his perspective, ultimately, I think is going to give us our best chance to pitch uh, to our capabilities down the stretch. It's, it's Larry is definitely not a not a scapegoat in this. Um, Larry has done so much for this organization. He's done so much in, in, in his career, just his ex experience uh, in the game. Um, again, uh, you know, to me, as the manager, ultimately, I'm responsible uh, for the staff. Uh, I'm responsible for um, our performance and, and uh, getting our players to, to play to their abilities. And ultimately, I, I made the decision um, with the the idea and the thinking that this is going to be best for us moving forward. Yeah, I think the, the the new message, the new voice, the new set of eyes and lens and perspective, and uh, Fritzy does a great job as well um, using his resources and and uh, uh, being able to use the Preston Mattingleys and the Peter Somervilles and and be able to get different perspectives. Uh, but ultimately, uh, what we're looking for is more consistent performance on the mound, 
uh, certainly in the starting pitching area. And again, I, I believe this is going to give us our best chance down the stretch uh, for our pitchers to, to uh, reach their potential. You definitely weigh uh, the injuries, you weigh all the factors that come in. And we've shown flashes uh, throughout the year, but I think at the end of the day, it's just been uh, a little bit uh, too inconsistent. Um, we've only had some flashes of the guys uh, pitching to, to, to what I believe is their capability and um, you know, looking for more consistency down the stretch. I think we've had those discussions over, I don't know if it's been the last 10 days or the, the, the last two weeks. Um, and ultimately, uh, Larry was the right guy for the hire, uh, especially with a young pitching staff last year. Uh, his pitching staff pitched us into the playoffs. Um, and then, you know, this offseason, we, we acquired, uh, you know, maybe some more veteran frontline pitching. And just uh, throughout the year, uh, again, you know, there, there, there's a lot of factors to it. Um, there, there's some inconsistent performance. We believe, you know, guys haven't uh, been as consistent at, at the top of their game. We've certainly had some injuries and, and some other factors. And so after talking about it uh, 10 days ago, um, you know, we made the decision uh, to see if this thing will turn um, and, and if we'll get some guys rolling. And it's been uh, very much, uh, unfortunately, the same. And instead of staying stagnant, uh, I thought it was best to be proactive right now. No, I don't think it's more about want to or approach or dedication or work ethic. Uh, it, it, it'll be more on uh, a different perspective of, of, you know, if we're seeing something maybe mechanically or pitch usage. Uh, and, and like I said, just, just a different voice right now. Uh, and we're looking for more production and, and more consistency at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a lot of drastic uh, changes, whether it's mechanically, mentally, physically, all those things. Uh, but I do believe uh, that it's not too late uh, to play really good baseball and to stay in the fight and an opportunity to get into the playoffs. You're right on the fact that... Um, the majority of guys, and when, when you look around the, the, the league, and if you're a veteran pitcher, uh, you've got a very high probability of having some type of surgery or arm or shoulder you know, condition, whether that's Tommy John, et cetera. Um, I believe at the, the end of the day, um, you know, we, we acquired uh, all those guys that you just named uh, for specific uh, reasons, um, because they've uh, have the ability, and the majority of them have had big time track record of logging innings and getting outs uh, and throwing productive innings for us. Uh, and that's ultimately, you know, our goal. I think you look up at the, the you know, the, the offseason to be able to acquire Snell, Darvish, and Musgrove. Um, you know, now we've had some guys uh, on the IL or, or, or the shelf here or there. Uh, but this move is is more about getting more consistent innings, uh, not only you know from from those three, uh, but also from from the majority of our our, our pitching staff. And uh, at the end of the day, like I said earlier, you know we're looking for just a, a new message right now. Um, we have the guys to do it, and we've got a 36 game sprint. If you're looking big picture, uh, if you're looking uh, small picture, we're pretty focused on the Dodgers right now. We believe that uh, our guys that we have uh, right now uh, up here uh, give us a better chance to win uh, than maybe some of the guys that are in AAA and AA right now. Yeah, it's a unique background um, from the, the original book and the movie. Uh, Fritz was uh, one of the famous, uh, I guess, first or sandwich picks uh, out of the, the, the book Moneyball. Uh, from Fresno State, uh, was a catcher, converted a pitcher later on, um, has really studied uh, delivery, studied pitching, has worked within the organization as a pitching coach, knows the medical side as, as the rehab coordinator, has been a part of uh, that process of, of uh, getting, whether it's minor league or major league arms, uh, back and healthy and back to either the majors or minors and in, in, in pitching. 
Um, like I said, the, he's he's ran the uh, Arizona pitching program. Uh, he's worked with all levels, uh, you know, from from the lowest level of minor league. And for the last two years, he's done a great job uh, at the major league level. Um, he knows deliveries. He's no know, knows pitching. He knows analytics, and and uh, we're excited. Uh, even though it is a, a, a sad day, uh, um, moving on from Larry and, and a man that uh, I first and, and foremost uh, have a ton of respect for, who has shared a lot of knowledge and experience with myself. Um, but moving forward, I'm, I'm also excited for the opportunity for Fritz and uh, to see what he can provide to our pitchers down the stretch.